For many of us, language is simply the way we communicate in writing or the spoken word. But for one University of Minnesota senior, it's part of a goal to reclaim her Native American heritage. It is a story you're going to see first on Five. Her name is Jaden King. She wants to preserve the Ojibwe language by teaching it in the Mille Lacs area where she grew up. Richard Reeve tells us how she hopes to do that and what influenced her along the way. U of M senior Jaden King is on a mission. What's going to happen to us if... We don't, nobody knows the language. Jaden, 23, a member of the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe and a descendant of the Red Lake Nation, wants to pay it forward by becoming a language keeper. So it is more than just preserving the language, it's also preserving the culture. Jaden initially planned to study business, but she was encouraged by her grandmother, who frequently spoke in Ojibwe, to consider a different direction. And she said, you're going to study Ojibwe. That's what you're going to do. You're going to keep the language. Jaden, double majoring in American Indian Studies and the Ojibwe language, graduates in May. She plans to move back to Mille Lacs and open an Ojibwe immersion daycare. I want to expose the kids up there to the Ojibwe language and in a positive way, in a positive environment where they want to be at and where they want to learn the language. That passion is shared by Naomi Long, who became a youth mentor for Jaden when she was 13. I think it's really amazing that she's going to do it because I, I believe in her and I know that she can do it. Long is the interim director of the Wasabeek Ojibwe Motadiwin Immersion Program in Red Lake, which teaches Ojibwe to three and four-year-old kids. The more that they're learning and picking up on it, it's it's not only learning with them, but they're bringing it home. Long says this is more than about reclaiming the language. It's about healing, too. Travis Zimmerman with the Mille Lacs Indian Museum calls it an endangered language. So it's still, you know, a language that, that's uh, in, in, in trouble and, and, you know, it really is something that we need to hang on to. The Minnesota Historical Society says nationwide there are only a couple of hundred first speakers people who have been speaking Ojibwe since birth. Part of that is it was lost during the boarding schools when, when language was literally beaten out of folks, you know. Zimmerman points to the government-run boarding schools, where children were once forced to attend but banned from speaking their native language. There's been a couple generations where, you know, speaking the language was frowned upon. It was, you know, um, looked as a bad thing. The Historical Society says efforts to reclaim the Ojibwe language began with the opening of survival schools by the American Indian Movement in the 1960s and 70s. There are now language immersion schools at each of the seven tribes of Ojibwe in Minnesota. Just reclaiming of who we are and learning of who we are, you know, it's just... Um, the, the language is tied into the land. It's a powerful language and it's a powerful feeling when you actually learn it and you use it and when you see the little ones using it. Whether in writing or the spoken word. A language reflecting the culture, teachings and identity of the Ojibwe tribes. Jaden hopes she can be a part of keeping it alive for future generations. Learning the language is a beautiful thing. It's empowering and I'd love for any youth to feel that same way. And more than 100 students have graduated from the Wasabeek program since it was launched in 2014. Long says there are about 13 similar immersion programs across Minnesota. Jaden says her number one goal is to open that immersion daycare, but she says she's already gotten an offer from one school mm -hmm. district to teach Ojibwe to elementary school students. I am not surprised yeah, at all. And that's, that's why it, it's what they remember. And like we heard there, the language is connected to the land. Mm -hmm. yeah, what a absolutely. beautiful thing. It is. She's going to save it. Okay. Rich, thank Rich. you.